So we've already talked about great whites and tiger sharks, but there's still one of the big three we have yet to cover, the bull shark, also known as the Zambezi shark, which is a requiem shark found around the world, generally in warm, shallow waters around the coasts, but they are also known for their ability to survive in fresh water. They aren't the only shark that can do this, though they probably are the shark best known for that ability and can be found in rivers and lakes around the world. Theoretically, they should be able to live in fresh water indefinitely, but they don't seem to, except for when they get trapped in ponds on a golf course. Lots of interesting facts and things to talk about with bull sharks that I think could be fun, but let's talk about size. The bull isn't quite as big as the white and the tiger, but let's look at how large they do get. Their total length and, more importantly, max weight. There was a Net Geo show called The World's Biggest Bull Shark with Dr. Neil Hammerschlag. Near the beginning of the show, they catch a female bull shark that they named Big Bull, who was larger than the average bull, and she was measured to be about 9 feet long, or around 2.7 meters. They weren't able to weigh her, but the team estimated estimated she was about 800 pounds or 363 kilos although dr hammerschlag said in his opinion around a thousand pounds and on nat geo's website they said she's over a thousand pounds nat geo liked to go with the big number now the 800 to 1000 pound estimate was made by dr hammerschlag and his team and they certainly have a ton of experience with sharks and bull sharks but it is an estimate they don't really find any bigger bulls in this show, though, and the episode is more about finding out if Big Bull has any offspring, seeing if she's spreading those big shark genes. The full show is currently streaming on Disney Plus if you want to watch it. Anyway, is Big Bull around the max size for a bull shark? She certainly was, and maybe still is, a big fish. According to some sources, the average size of females, who are larger than males, is about 2.4 meters, around 8 feet, and they weigh a few hundred pounds. Which, I mean, big bull isn't much longer, but with bull sharks, it's more about girth and overall mass, I suppose. Part of the reason they have the name bull shark is because of the stocky build, but we certainly have found longer and heavier bull sharks, a good bit bigger than Big Bull. Now Big Bull was caught in the Florida Keys, but if we look to other parts of their range, we find other bigger ones have been found and measured. But we are going to have to look at a different continent to see the largest on record. The following information comes from an article published on the African Journal of Marine Science in 2009, titled Catching and Tracking the World's Largest Zambezi Bull Shark in the Braid Estuary, South Africa. The article will be linked below if you want to read it for yourself. The interesting thing is this discovery was made as they were doing a survey to confirm if reports of bull sharks in the estuary were correct, and they were. The big female was 4 meters in total length, so 13.1 feet. And her weight? Well, it was estimated to be, quote, in excess of 600 kilos, which is about 1,323 pounds. An estimate, but I guess it can be difficult to record the weight of a big fish. If you're curious, they didn't just look at the shark and guess, they did use a length-weight relationship from another paper, which is also linked below. It makes me wonder though, how did Big Bull get to be the star of a show called The World's Biggest Bull Shark at 9 feet 800 pounds, which I guess it's bigger than average, but it's significantly smaller than the 13.1 foot 1,320 pound shark that was caught in 2009, and the show was released in 2021. But I know it is probably still a large bull shark, especially for that area, and I think it was the largest that the team caught. And world's biggest bull shark is a better title than slightly larger than average bull shark. So is our 2009 shark the biggest bull we have? Is that the biggest they get? 
I mean, there's a chance we happen to catch and record the biggest bull shark of all time, but it's not super likely. I started reading a book recently that said, thinking that the largest animal of a species on record represents the largest size that species can get to is ignorant and naive. And I would somewhat agree, but with these how big videos, I'm not trying to state that the largest on record is the absolute max that they can ever reach, but rather it's probably close to the largest they can reach. I think something we need to consider is how growth rates work and how they slow over time. We all know the average male versus Robert Wadlow argument, but again, the biggest bull on record, if not the Wadlow of the bull shark world, is maybe the Yao Ming. But again, what I'm saying with growth rates is that if we look at the charts, you see once these sharks get into their late 20s and 30s, the growth rate kind of levels off which for most females seems to be at around eight feet or so. It's rare that they get to three meters, which is about 10 feet. And you know, in older studies, it was thought that about 3.5 meters or 11.5 feet was the max. But with more evidence, we know four meters is possible. So perhaps a bull longer than 13 feet that is heavier than 1,323 pounds is possible. Perhaps it's even somewhat likely. I just can't imagine it being much bigger. This four meter, 1300 pound shark is very, very rare and it's much bigger than average. So if there is a bull shark bigger than this one, it doesn't really follow logical sense that it would be a lot bigger, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. I will say you don't see too many outlandish bull shark claims out there. So that's nice to see. There are some 2,000 pound size claims, which almost 700 pounds heavier than the largest on record seems like a lot, but it's rare to see that. I know this is a shorter video, but I don't want to try and drag it out needlessly when we have a pretty clear indicator of the largest on record and therefore a fairly decent idea of the range of how large they might get. So I guess I've covered the big three but there are some other sharks I would like to cover also. I got a comment under the tiger shark video that people seem to forget about the Greenland shark, which grows larger than the tiger shark and does approach great white size. Well, I'd never forget about the Greenland shark, but the size thing is a bit tricky with them. And remember, total length isn't the indicator of max size, but rather the total weight. I, of course, will be covering the size of the Greenland shark soon, so subscribe for that. And I'm also going to be making a lot more shark content over the next month or so, so make sure to keep an eye out. Anyway, thank you to my patrons and my members, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.